Hi, it's Jessie V. Today I'm going to be talking about types of annoying couples. Now, a lot of the ones I talk about are more of the extreme cases, but I'm sure somewhere along the line you've seen some of these couples or heard about them. Or maybe you are one. First one, couples who call each other nicknames in public. Baby. Munchkin, sugar, honey bun, sweetheart. I mean, I guess it's cute to a point, but when they include that nickname in every single sentence, it gets a bit annoying, you know? Especially if you're with them, you start feeling gross because you don't know what to, should you smile and think that they're, I mean, what do you do when you're right beside them? Like, I remember I was at a change room one time and this girl was trying on a dress and her boyfriend was waiting outside and she like came out and she's like, sweetheart, what do you think of this dress? And he was like, oh, sugar honey bun, I think you look hot and sexy. Do you not hear yourself and just want to laugh? I mean, it's so cheesy. Oh my god, I can't even handle it. Like, I started laughing at them. I, I mean, I felt bad, but it was like, are you- is this real? Like, is- am I, am I being pranked right now? Gosh, I really have, like, bedhead hair right now. Just ignore it. Then we've got the couple who can't go anywhere without each other. They're like Siamese twins. They don't leave each other. They're attached at the hip. So here's an example. Hey, Christine, we're having a girls' night tonight. Wanna come? Yeah, yeah, so can Thomas come? Uh, well, it's a- it's a girls' night. Yeah, so... Can Thomas come? No, Thomas can't come, it's a girls' night. What do you have against my boyfriend? You know? I mean, it, it becomes an issue. Like, yeah, you love them, you want to spend a lot of time with them, but I think, I think it's unhealthy if you're literally attached at the hip every second of the day. Like, give each other some space. I mean, if you let go of your hands, you won't lose each other. It's okay, we're not otters here. If you didn't get that reference, like otters, like they hold hands when they sleep in the water, they float around holding hands, it's so cute. Then we've got the couples who use Facebook as a place to converse instead of texting or calling each other. So we know all about their love life, publicly. The Facebook wall is their best friend. So like the guy will like post on the girl's wall like, sweetheart, why haven't you called me back? Like you can't text her that? I mean, she's gonna get it either, or like, baby, I was just thinking about you today. I can't wait to see you tonight. You can't call her or text her that? I mean, like, stop it, it's gross. Then there's the couples who ditch their friends all the time. This is really similar to the other couple who are attached at the hip, except they don't socialize. They're always together, away from everybody. Like, you never see them. Like, for as long as they're together, it could be a year, a couple months, you don't see them. They, they just hibernate. They're gone. They're hibernating. It's like they were your best friend until they got into the relationship. And now, like, they're strangers to you. It's kind of sad, actually. It's, it's a sad, sad situation. Couples who always post pictures of themselves. And I'm not talking like one picture a week or a few pictures a week. I'm talking in the same hour. They're posting like 10 selfies of them both. Kissing, watching movies, pictures of like presents. Oh, my bae just got me this gift. Oh, my bae did this. Like they post so many pictures of them both that every picture just starts looking the same. I just, I click the unfollow button because it's just, it's, it's, it's an issue. It's an issue. Morning selfie, cuddle selfie, afternoon selfie, nighttime selfie, eating spaghetti together selfie. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. Stop. Then there's the couples who think they can give everyone else relationship advice because their relationship is so perfect and amazing. These are the people who always tell you what you're doing wrong in your relationship. You go to this person who's in the relationship and you're like, oh, I'm having issues, I'm fighting with my boyfriend. And they're like, well, you should have done this. You should have done this. This is where you went wrong. You can barely talk to them anymore because they're just lecturing you about what you do wrong in your relationship. There's a difference between giving advice and nagging and becoming annoying. Then there's the couple that are just constantly fighting in public, over the phone, text messaging. They're always fighting. It's like you never see them happy together because they're always fighting. And it comes to the point where you just don't want to hang out with them anymore because it's just weird and uncomfortable for you. You don't want to be standing there while they're arguing because what do you say? Like, it's just weird. If you're not happy with that other person, just leave. Why are you still with them if you're just gonna fight all the time? It just puts stress on you and everybody else. Then we've got the teabag couple. This is one of the most common ones. It's the couple that are always in and out of the relationship. So, you know, you dip your teabag, like, in and out of the water. You... You get it. You get it. They break up and get back together every single week. And every time, they're like, oh, I'm so done with him or her. And you're just like, sure, I'll see you guys together like next week. Like the minute you see their Facebook status go to single, you know that they're just gonna get back together. Like it doesn't mean anything anymore. Like we all know you're gonna get back together. So why do you change your status? What's the, what's the point? I mean, it's probably for attention half the time. I don't even, like, are we in kindergarten? Like if you're gonna leave each other, just leave for good. I don't understand. Or make it work. Like, what's, what's going on here? And lastly, we've got the couple who cheats on each other all the time. All 
the time. Like, why are you guys even dating? And it's like, they both know that each other are cheating. It's like they're aware, but they don't do anything. It's like they're not even together, but they are together. You know? It's the weird- it's the weirdest thing. It's the weird- it's- it's so strange. Like, why don't you just, like, date other people and make it like an open- like, make it an open thing? Like, why? There's some things that just- I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh, and I forgot to mention one. Then there's the couple that just seem completely normal. And you never see them having issues. They just seem like the perfect couple. They just seem- that they just seem perfect. That- that's annoying. That's annoying because you're like, do they have any flaws? Do they ever fight? What is wrong with them? What's- there has to be something wrong with them. And it bothers you because you think about it. Anyway, um, just so you guys know, I'm not like this single person who's like getting angry at every- every couple because I don't have a boyfriend. I actually do have a boyfriend. So this is just me kind of observing other couples. <laughs> I'm not like some angry, like, lonely person. Or am I? I- I don't know, am I? Anyways, I hope you like this video. Um, if you can relate to any of these or if you're guilty or if you've heard of any of these things happening, please like this video. Um, it really supports me. Subscribe, share. Yeah, you guys are awesome. Yeah, until next time. Bye, guys.